We're here at Daytona, the HSR 24 hour classic. Unlike the Rolex 24 hour series race that happens in January, every year at the start of November, we have what's called the classic 24 hour. This brings out all previously homologated race cars or famous cars that have taken part of either the 24 hour race or an IMSO or similarly sanctioned race. It's a great opportunity to bring out some hardware, learn Daytona in a very fast, fun sports car, and get drivers up to speed in a fairly relaxed environment. It's full of all different types of vintage race cars. And as you race throughout the 24 hours, you don't have to run the entire 24 hour race. We actually run four one hour races every six hours throughout that 24 hour period. That gives drivers the opportunity to try their car in all different environments and times of day here at Daytona to get that same feeling but in a slightly less stressful environment with other drivers that are equally passionate about racing, but also want to keep their car in one piece. This weekend, we're here with two cars. We've got our Audi RS3 LMS TCR car that we run in the FEL series, the Gen 1, as well as the new LMP3 car. So for us within the team, it's going to be Kyle Edu and Trevor running together in the TCR. Trevor's first opportunity running that TCR car. And then myself and Toby running this new LMP3 car. So again, great opportunity for us to learn the car, get comfortable with it on the banking at high speed tracks, running against other teams that are used to running these cars, but a safer environment, easy for us to build up our speed, get comfortable with that car, come into pits if we want to check something, make some setup changes, and really ensure we've got the right package and the right combination for when we want to go really push these cars in a competitive championship. First race start for the TCR right now, it's uh, 7 o'clock, so first race of their 24 hours between Colin and Trevor. Um, and Hunter has a little bit of a surprise for Colin when it comes to first pit stop. Identification race, but nonetheless, for the second and third, we will wait a bit from the rest of the field. They now are running in... So how does it work when we do these races? We've got four one-hour races. The time, 42 minute races. Okay. And the time we get when we're competing with other cars, if you finish, let's say, third place, and you're 10 seconds back of first, that means in race two, you have a 10 second gap you need to try to make up. So it's a cumulative over all four races throughout the whole 24 hours. So right now, Khalid got in the pits under a full course caution pretty early on. So that allows us to stay on, make sure we're on the lead lap, stay nice and close with the guys. Keep it tight. I know we've got a, a quick car that can certainly compete in Group G, so keep it tight. Keep hanging on to it and try to uh, mitigate or minimize how much lost time we get from first place. And as we keep pushing towards that throughout the night and in tomorrow morning, hopefully we stack up on top.
country and you swap the second race for the third and second week, if you win that race by two hundred and five. And then exactly like the two of yeah, it kind of extends that. Now, with all of these different makes of cars, from early era, you know, pre 1950s cars up to modern, you know, um, Cadillac DPI race cars that just took part in the 24 Hours of Daytona only a couple of years ago, um, that fills the series and it really fills the grid. Now, you want to race against cars that are equal. So, HSR has broken everyone down into six major categories. So, that means there's racing all throughout the weekend here. At Daytona, the track is live for the entire 24 hours. However, each car only has to do their single one hour race four times throughout that day. So you, again, you get to break up that day into the different quarters. You get the opportunity to drive you know, early evening, late night, wee hours of the morning in the dark, and then again, late morning as the uh, sun comes up and as we get ready for the final checkered flag. So the track is hot. The costs are a little bit less for everybody to run a 24 hour race and everyone still gets those opportunities to experience this mega track, this facility here with all these beautiful pieces of hardware, with a nice crowd of people that really enjoy sports car racing in general. Doesn't matter what car you have, whether you have a vintage 911, a modern GT3 Cup car, an Audi TCR, or an LMP3 or an LMP2. <laughs>
Oh, my God.